What's up, party people? It is Brian here with Unrivaled Multimedia. The Dallas Cowboys started off the season exactly like I thought they would, with a loss to the Carolina Panthers 16-8. Is it just me, or did it look like the Cowboys had no idea that offense was a part of football? As they did not score until the fourth quarter. And in the first half, that was by far the worst offensive performance I had ever seen by a Cowboys team. The, Dak Prescott could never get on page with his receivers. He was throwing ducks out there. Ezekiel Elliott was just getting absolutely no burn. And you saw the lack of creativity in the offensive plays. All offseason, we heard that the Cowboys now adding Tavon Austin, adding Alan Hearns, drafting Michael Gallup, that they were going to be very dynamic with their play calling, and they looked exactly the same as last year. And the offense, honestly, should give their paychecks to the defense because they kept them in this game, and the defense is able to hold opponents to 16 points. There is no reason that the offense should not be able to put up 16 points. That is ridiculous how bad the offense looked for the Cowboys. Demarcus Lawrence was an absolute beast out there. And I wonder if anybody has that kind of motor on offense. In the second half, the offense did look a little bit more in rhythm. Dak Prescott did get it together. And we have to talk about this offensive line. I don't hear anybody at Cowboys fans, media, or people in general say that this offensive line is top notch. You saw Connor Williams, the rookie, get just actually drove back by Kiwan Short time after time. You saw Lyle Collins get penalty after penalty. And this offensive line gave Dak Prescott zero time to throw the ball. You cannot put it all on Dak Prescott. When he has zero time to throw the ball, how is he able to get in rhythm with the receivers? And speaking of the receivers, can they please, I mean, please actually get open? Because they look like they had no idea how to run routes. They have a new wide receivers coach. I don't know what he did because it looked like they were just running elementary plays out there and had no kind of consistency. And then on top of that, the Cowboys' new kicker, Maher, looked absolutely pathetic at that field goal. A 47-yard field goal is very makeable in the NFL, and now them kidding Bailey looks really, really bad, and I don't know. After this performance, where do the Cowboys really have any kind of hope or optimism outside of the defense? The special teams, Tavon Austin did nothing, and the kicker, this team, in my opinion, is in big trouble when you look at the schedule. Next week, they play the New York Giants, and that is a do or die, in my opinion, looking at this schedule, because it gets no lighter, and that is a must when the Cowboys want to make any kind of noise, and I just don't see it because you saw the Cowboys' head coach position is absolute joke with Jason Garrett. You saw it. Lenahan has no clue how to be dynamic with his play calling. And I want to hear from all you Cowboy fans. Are you as frustrated as I am about this game and how pathetic the Cowboys' offense looked? So with that being said, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And please do subscribe to our Rumble Multimedia. And until next time, take it easy.